we're going to do today is this basic gel coat repair. Um, the boat's got a small crack in it from whatever might have happened. There's different things, impacts, all kinds of things can create a crack in the gel coat. Um, some of the things you're going to need, sandpaper, dust masks, masking tape, painter's tape, orbital sander is a massive time saver. Uh, acetone, water. Jellico and a Sharpie. So what you want to do basically is identify the crack. You want to find out if it's structural or not. This one's obviously not structural. There's no weakness to this spot. Um, there's no real, no flex in this area. Whereas you look up, there's flex in other parts of the boat. More than likely, this just took a bang on the combing or something. So we know it's no structural. There's no give to it. We don't have to reinforce the inside of this. We've marked our crack, we know where it's going to be, and the reason why you mark that, when you start sanding, it, the crack is pretty much going to disappear. So if you have a nice black line there with marker, you always know where your crack is. And that is key, because you don't want to sand the whole side of your boat, but you also want to know how far your crack is gone, because if you don't get the whole thing, it'll continue to travel. So, when it comes to sanding, obviously, if you want a good dust mask, here is a random orbital sander. You can do it by hand, it's obviously just going to take longer. I start with 80 grit. Fresh pad is always the best way. It'll save you tons of time. On the sand, so I'm going to keep my repair down near this lip so it's easier to hide on a turn rather than on a flat surface. Start with two inch to protect my seam. And this is just a temporary barrier. I might have to go further, I might have to go less, but it's good to have it there just so I know a stopping point. And I know that I don't want to stand beyond where this curve is. So I can take my masking tape, a little trick of masking tape. If you bend it into itself, you can make it turn. To it, just to get it to turn up on itself, and masking tape will bend. Another trick, rub it, heat it up, the friction of the rubbing will make the edge stick. You can always come back with a hand sand and get tight to your seam, but with this, this is just to get through the crack. Always wear a mask, do it in a ventilated area. And wear dirty clothes. Sand all your crack out. That way it doesn't return. You could probably sand a little bit more there to get through the crack, but at this point you don't want to sand hard in this spot anymore. Now you want to feather your sanded area out, so when you spray a gel coat, you don't have such a hard lip and a bump there. I didn't get near my seam with that directional sand sander, but you want to rub the surface so your gel coat will stick. So what I do is I take a small piece, so this is just 120 grit, you can use 80, 220, whatever. You're just trying to rub the area up. I don't really worry about hitting my tape, that's why the tape's there, so I don't over sand it and go too far. Um, at this point, I'm pretty happy with that. See any more of the crack. Um, sometimes you'll get some loose gel coat. You want to pick it off so you get good adhesion. Um, sometimes when you look, the crack might go in a bunch of different directions. You want to make sure you sand all that out. We're glass here into the main structure of the boat. It's okay to go a little bit into it, but you don't want to sand all the way through. Depending on your boat, it can get really thin in some areas, so just be aware of that when you're sanding away. 